Elmer and the Lost Teddy, by David McKee. The sky was already dark and full of stars when Elmer, the patchwork elephant, heard the sound of crying. It was Baby Elephant. He can't sleep," said Baby Elephant's mother. "He wants his teddy. We took Teddy with us on a picnic, and somewhere we lost it." "Never mind," said Elmer. "I'll lend him my teddy. Tomorrow I'll look for the lost one." Elmer went away and came back with his teddy. Baby elephant smiled, and was soon fast asleep with Elmer's teddy beside him. The next day, Elmer set off in search of the lost teddy. He hadn't gone far when he met his cousin Wilbur. "Hello, Wilbur," said Elmer. "I'm looking for Baby Elephant's lost teddy. Have you seen it?" No," said Wilbur. "But if I find it, I'll call you." A little later, a voice said, "Hello, Elmo. Where are you going?" It was Lion. "Baby Elephant has lost his teddy, and I'm looking for it," said Elmo. "Oh dear," said Lion. Baby lion would be very upset if he lost his teddy. If I find it, I'll call you. Maybe tiger has seen it. As he came near tiger's place, Elmer called out, "Yo ho, tiger!" Shh, Elmer! Tiger quietly called back, "The twins are asleep." Sorry," said Elmer. "Only, baby elephant has lost his teddy. Have you seen it?" "That's serious," said Tiger. "The twins wouldn't sleep without their teddies. If I find it, I'll call you." After that, Elmer visited the other animals. All the young ones had their teddies. But none of them had seen baby elephants. They all said the same thing: "If we find it, we'll call you." It was getting late into the afternoon, and Teddy was still lost. "I hope I find him soon," thought Elmer. "It's nearly night time." It was at that moment that he heard a shout, "Help! Help!" and then again, "Help! I'm lost!" Elmer pushed through some bushes, and there was a teddy bear. The voice came from Teddy. "Please help me!" said the teddy. "I'm lost. I want baby elephant." "You can talk." Said Elmer in surprise. "Please take me home," said Teddy. "I can't sleep without baby elephant." Elmer still stared. "Your mouth isn't moving," he said. Just then, Wilbur appeared from the bushes. Wilbur. Laughed Elmer. I might have known it was you making Teddy speak. Wilbur chuckled. I said I'll call you if I find Teddy. He said, and I did. Come on, let's take Teddy home. It's getting dark. They set off together, singing as they went. Baby elephant was excited to see his teddy again, and quickly gave back Elmer's teddy. Baby elephant's mother couldn't thank Elmer and Wilbur enough. Elmer said, "Wilbur, weren't you worried that baby elephant would want to keep your teddy? 
your teddy is very different. It's special. But Wilbur, didn't you know? <laughs> Said Elmer in surprise. You don't have to be different to be special. All teddies are special, especially your own.